mine's over. See that? Yes, I watched all of it. You fight, don't watch. That sounds about right. Uh, welcome back, everyone. I kind of realized as I started this, my microphone was off. Fun. But anyway, that was Emil's Mystic Arts. So, obviously, uh, you know, there's that. And that's a thing. And it's, uh, it's pretty dang cool. But, yeah. Oh, man. Gotta love uh, start of the episode bloopers. So the only reason I started that from a battle is because I loaded my save and then an enemy went up behind me and ambushed me while I was not paying attention. So that was cool. I was like, you know what? I have a chance to do a Mystic Art. I didn't do that last episode when I could have had a chance to, but you know, it is what it is. Now today we go through more of the Temple of Darkness. It's kind of fitting we're going through the Temple of Darkness when it's October, you know? Spooky month, all that good stuff. and. It's darkness. Our favorite thing for October. Yeah. Can't wait, man. I can't wait. What's this? That's a thing. I don't know. This is where we found Shadow, the summoned spirit of darkness, two years ago. But this wasn't here then. Maybe it's some sort of switch. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. <coughs> that actually makes sense. There is a large shadow in the distance. So, there is no response. So, one time and it's it. I mean, if you can figure out what that does and you know exactly what that does. We gotta walk all the way back. Oh my gosh. Just when you thought, like, yep, yeah, we're done. Not really. We're not done. We're not done yet, but yeah, they put the enemy right next to the save point. That's just kind of mean. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but that was exactly what we were greeted with there. Mmm, 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 delicious. Freaking amazing. Alright, uh, we go back up the stairs now. Marta, you're next. We need your- ah! <coughs> well, we keep running the enemies like that, we'll get her Mystic Art in no time, right? You're gonna regret this! All right, if you say so. Uh, 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 uh. I can't wait, man. I just can't wait to beat up more enemies and they'll never see it coming. They really won't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bye, Mimic. God, you Mimics aren't as strong in this game as uh, Pandora. God, they're not as strong in this game as they were in Symphonia 1. These things get a little bit goofy at times. Should have never gone against me. That's what, they don't really stagger and then they resist basically every element. It's just, it's annoying. Taking those things on sucks. Oh, but it is what it is. Anyway, we go up and then we go find Tenebrae. Tenebrae's coming back to us again. And then we gotta fight another thing because it greeted us at the staircase. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> I'm still really confused about the item usage here. Yeah, I've just straight up used five orange gels without even doing anything. What? What's causing that? Who has the ability to use items? I didn't even think that was a thing in this game. That's it? I thought I remembered something about, oh, hello, all, all round, all round, ha, 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 ha. yes, yes, join us. Okay, Ra Radena. It's basically just zombie Hatsune Miku, honestly. I, do, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. I'm not getting rid of the wolf, though. The wolf stays. Makoto's a legend. The bird, the wyvern, meh. The bird is cool. I mean, we like the bird. We just keep what we got because I, I don't know what I even have. 
How could you possibly know what you have? Wait, I said I was gonna look. So I don't have anything here. And you don't got anything there either. I don't understand anything. Also, that's a, uh, oh my. More than physical attack increase one. Yeah, and I bet. Wait, okay, hold on, I need to see this. This is included increase right there, 855? Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy mackerel, 1,000? Yeah, this wolf is a little too strong. Let's not nerf it anytime soon, oh boy. I really don't want the wolf in my party. I'm only just carrying in my party because I don't have a fourth uh, Symphonia member to run around with. But really, I think the, the vital strategy here is just keep the wolf doing what it needs to do, and we'll just uh, we'll go crazy with it. That's it. I was just getting started. It has so much dexterity though. It's like ah, oh, dexterity this, dexterity that. Ugh. Too many points to spend. No, I'm seriously confused though. No? Is there a blah thing maybe? I don't know. No. I'm not gonna look at play record right now. Like I said, I do want to look at this at some point. Probably the end of the game. 46% skits, that's cool. Uh Probably look at that somewhere towards the end of the game, maybe in options. Uh, that message speed be on very low though. Oh heck no! No, we're not doing that. We're not touching that. If I've learned anything from my past experience with stuff like that in Final Fantasy games, I will make a monstrosity of a menu. I'm just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Wait, auto use on or off? Oh. Oh. Automate use an item when an ally is in trouble. <coughs> hmm. So that's a Sheena thing. Honestly, I'm not against that. I mean, it's nice to have that as an option. I'm not sure if that pertains to light bottles too. Apple gels? Any of that stuff? I mean, apple gels are still a 20 out of 20, so... Not entirely sure about that one, but... If it does pertain to that, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it's, uh... There, there's the door. The door we were looking for. It's open. Looks like that switch we found was linked to this wall. I wonder if Tenebrae's up ahead. Probably. Though I'm sure we'll find some enemies waiting for us as well. You mean the voices we heard earlier? The only people with any business in a place like this would be Lloyd or the Vanguard. We can't let them take Tenebrae. Let's go! Alright, Tenebrae. You're gonna get taken whether you like it or not. Dang, they really make this so freaking ominous. Oh my gosh, it's an enemy! Alright, you wanna fight? We're gonna fight. <clears throat> this is so weird. I don't even have to fight that. I'm just choosing to fight you. We won't lose. All right, we let's power. go. Die. We need more characters with auto item though. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, that's right. I'm gonna let you cast magic. Ugh. All right. Give you a little bit of that and a little bit of this. Yeah. Hit him. I was like one hit away from dying and I couldn't hit him because my allies were blocking me somehow. Makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? Alright. Darkness. I also like how the music's just slowly going away. I'm trying to build some tension, I see. Alright, here you go. Time for some... Sword to the face, ow. More sword to the face. Oh, I forgot I have that set now. I don't want that set. I want Demon Fang back. Give me my Demon Fang back. 
Marta's level is 30. Titan just keeps leveling up. Oh, hey, hey! Remember I was like, yeah, you know, auto item would be cool, right? Special? <coughs> Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold a phone for me, please. Marty, you don't need that. Uh, you can just go ahead and do special. High spells are arcane arts and form mystic arts, so... I'll put her in front just because it would be nice to show that off. Uh... I have to use Resurrection to do this? 64 TP, 64 TP, man. I have no... What? I don't understand why that's an art. Hmm. Okay, that's very suspicious. I mean, the fact it takes up its own slot is really weird to me. Okay, I'd say put resurrection right there. I might regret this later, but <coughs> for right now, do that. Let's see how her mystic art goes. Honestly, I'll just go, I'll heal up right here. Uh, all right, yeah, get all your TP back. We'll fight, we'll use Marta's mystic art, and then it'll be fun. It's gonna be fantastic. You better watch out. Here I come. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm so ready for this. Uh, uh. Only I can do a full combo. All right, nice. Congratulations. Bring them back, the God of Healing. Bless those that stand before you. Grant me the righteous power to vanish evil. Radiant Roar. Oh yeah, look at her go. Immediately kills him. Beautiful roses have thorns. Cutie Marta has a fang. Be a little more enthusiastic. I think he was plenty enthusiastic. Give him some credit. He knows what he was doing. All right. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Another Mystic Guard shown off. So you know what that means. It's time to save. It's time to get back to a meal. Because it's going to be very necessary here. Unless it's not. Oh my gosh, look at that. Didn't even light up the last one. Come on. I sense. I sense Aqua. You can literally see her. You have no reason to sense her. You can just see her. So that energy I felt was Tenebrae returning to core form. How convenient. If we destroy him here. Not so fast! How do you get in here so fast? Emil! You're not taking Tenebrae! For someone who had to resort to a cheap trick in Flanor, you seem pretty sure of yourself. Just accept the fact you were beaten. <laughs> yes, you're right. I don't want to fight you. That's too bad. Because I can't wait to kill you. <sighs> oh yeah, time to fight. Come on. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh no. Pain will only last an instant. Ouch. 
I like how Marta just didn't get affected by that. Oh no. Oh no. Well, good thing she's got auto item, right? Why does he do so much damage? Chill out. Oh, okay. Nice, Marta. Very nice. Good fireball you got there, too. Alright, let's freaking go. Freaking Mystic Art the heck out of his face. Let's get some vengeance. What? Why? Ah, man, that hurt. Yes, you're tougher than I thought. Looks like I'll just have to hit you with another one. Emil, you're... I, I just can't believe it. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Emil, listen to me. You must cease being a knight of Ratatosk. If you won't, then I'll... Then I'll have to... Quit your pointless whining! Die! Wait, Emil. Calm down. Return back to normal. You're destroying the whole temple. Shut up! Get out of my way! Poor Shadow. Losing his temple to this. I'm so power. Eternal recurrence! What? Emil! Look out! Oh no, she's dead for <laughs> real! <laughs> it just phased back in with nobody there. Where am I? <laughs> Why are you all the way at the bottom? Marta? Marta, where are you? Damn it. Where did she go? Tenebrae's core must have fallen with me. A lucky break. Obtain Tenebrae's core, and we'll learn to skill Tenebrae. Okay, but like, we don't have Marta, we don't have Sheena, Richter's gone, everyone's just gone. Where, where, where'd they go? Now we have to put the legend Makoto into the battlefield. We have to. It's a rule, you know? Demon Fang changed to a different art with a darkness elemental attribute. Oh, that's cool. Kind of don't remember this at all, but that, that's cool, though. All right. Well, I say we got to find Marta. Oh, there's, there she is. That was close, actually. We almost missed that skit. I need to find Marta and have her hatch Tenebrae's core fast. All right. Good talk, Emil. Good talk. You want to say anything else before we uh, engage in the Marta-ing? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Shit, that was really close. Marta, you're okay. Emil. Whoops. Does it hurt? I treated myself. I'm okay. It's my fault. I never meant for you to get hurt. It's okay. But what's happening to you? Sheena mentioned it too. You've been in Ratatosk mode for a long time. So you're on their side. 
Huh? Sheena and Richter are both on my case to return to the normal me. And now you too! No, I didn't say... Why? Why should I? My normal self is a pathetic weakling. A cowardly dog who'll never amount to anything. Emil! You said you wanted me to protect you, as a knight of Ratatosk. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So what's the problem? Emil, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe I should just disappear. None of you want me around. Jeez, man. Emil! Emil, wake up! Huh? Where am I? Emil, you're finally back. Back? Are you okay? Sheena! Sheena, you're okay too! Yes, I'm glad both you and Marta are safe, but... But... What happened to Richter? Tenebrae won't wake up. Tenebrae? So Richter didn't get him after all. What are you talking about? You grabbed the core yourself. Huh? I guess... I did? Look, I've been trying the same thing I always do to hatch Centurions, but Tenebrae won't wake up. Is he defective? Is he truly an old fogey who doesn't want to return? Wh what was that? I don't know Tenebrae? what happened, but okay. Emil, Lady Marta, my most humble apologies for worrying you so. Tenebrae, are you okay? Centurions do not die. They only regress to their core state. Okay, but it sounded like Richter could have just did something to your core and killed you that way, but... Uh, whatever you say, Tenebrae, whatever you say. Though I would not have been able to awaken had you two not come for me. Tenebrae, you sacrificed yourself for me. I'm sorry. Please, think nothing of it. Thank goodness. I can't stand saying goodbye to friends. Tenebrae! Alright, should we start heading back to Meltokyo? Regal must be worried by now. Right. Uh, wait. Um, what about Richter? Any idea what happened to him? That's what I've been wanting to know. I was caught up in the cave-in, so I can't say exactly for sure. But it looked like that Centurion Aqua rescued him before he was crushed. Then he's still alive. Uh, y yeah, probably. Good. Oh man, stop it, Emil. The Ratatosk mode you and the normal you are like night and day. Marta joined the party. Formation has changed. She joined the party. Formation has changed. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? All right, there we go. Now formation is truly fixed. Got to get it back to normal. Did we get a new title or am I forgetting things? Nope. Nope. And I can't change hers, so yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about what you'd expect it to be. We got to go all the way back upstairs a freaking second time. Man, welcome back, stairs. <laughs> What is it, you two? Tenebrae, welcome back. We really missed you. Oh my. Well, I am sorry for causing concern. Is that all you gotta say? Show some emotion. Is old age making us a little grumpy? How rude. I would ask that you not treat me like an elderly dimwit. Look, he's getting angry. It's really him. Yep, I wouldn't have him any other way. Well, what happened while I was gone? A lie. I thought this whole arc with Tenebrae being gone, I thought that lasted a lot longer than it actually did. But that was like barely even a whole episode. That was not very long at all. I swear it was a lot longer the first time I played this game, but eh. That's weird. When did I pick up Tenebrae's core? Is something wrong, Emil? Well, yeah. My memory is. Your memory? No, it's okay. It's nothing. 
My memory of when I arrived at the Temple of Darkness is really hazy. Why? Because you were in Ratatosk mode, obviously. Jeez, Emil, get it together. Think about your mom instead. Hey, mom, do you? Huh? God, I'm sorry. That just sort of came out. I guess it's because you seem sort of mom. Right. You think I'm motherly? Are you implying that I'm old? Uh, no, kind of like that. I mean, you were really kind and grown up and stuff. And I don't know, kind of like the middle-aged women who lived in my neighborhood. What? Yeah. Hey, Tenebrae, help Bro. me out here. You see, on some level, Emil feels a sort of attachment toward you as a mother. And as we know, a powerful symbol of motherhood is the breast. The young man is simply expressing Jeez. his appreciation for your ample bosom. Huh? Is that how you've been looking at me? You, you, you creep! You jerk! You perv! How could you? I hate you! <laughs> I guess reawakening didn't change you, Tenebrae. Honestly, probably should take what Tenebrae says with a grain of salt, you guys. You guys are getting a little, little crazy here. Just a little bit. <coughs> oh, brother. Okay. I guess we go ahead and save again. I guess we'll just get the heck out of the Temple of Darkness, finally. Way shorter amount of time without Tenebrae than I remembered, to say the least. Wasn't this episode 25? This game is also going by a lot quicker than I remembered it being, too. Well, I think. I think it's going by quick. I don't know, man. Eternal recurrence, am I right? You're gonna regret this. Oh, you better watch out because I'm gonna get you right now. And that is really splendid, yeah. You better watch. Because I watch things, you are gonna go insane. I wonder though, did that basic art trigger the cutscene? Because that's kind of weird if it did. He was kicking our butt. Shut up. I love the way you said that. All right, ooh, Undertaker. All right, we're taking the Undertaker now. Undertaker joined. All right, well, uh, I don't really want Laura in my part. Ooh, actually, the stats are pretty strong, though. Huh. I don't know if this thing is that Good though, those starting stats look strong. 66, 69, I mean, compared to some other creature. I can't really compare them right now, I guess, but <coughs> pretty sure those are pretty good starting stats. I don't know, man, I don't know. Again, I don't know how good any of these monsters actually are. I don't know what's keeping, I, what's, <laughs> that was, that was right. I don't know what's worth keeping and all that good stuff, so, you know. It's tough. It's tough. But I want to let it cast magic. Come on. Be reasonable here. Ugh. Remember that imp from the beginning of the game? I'm pretty sure that would have transformed into one of these things eventually. If we kept it long enough. I think. I could be wrong. 1,233 experience points. You better believe it. Oh, man. All these times we gotta go up these stairs. It's just way too darn high. I mean, heck, even if you count Symphonia 1, it's, I mean, that was another time you had to go up these stairs, too. You had to go all the way to the bottom, and I'm pretty sure you had to go all the way back up again. So, how many times you gotta reclimb this? Too many times. Too many times. Once per game would have been enough, but no, we had to do it twice. What happens if I go in here? Bro, there's a cave in up ahead, it is too dangerous. That bad, huh? That bad. Well, at least Shadow didn't lose his temple in the end. Isn't this directly above the cave in area? So why does it look so small? Regal! Regal! Hi! You're all right. What about Tenebrae? As you can see, I am quite well. Terribly sorry to have worried you. So, Regal, did you talk to His Majesty about Glaucius' core? Actually, there's been a bit of progress on that front, which is why I came to find you. Progress? 
You mean, you know who has the core? That's correct. It's one of Maltokyo's nobles, just as we suspected. It's Zelos! So who? Hopefully someone who will fork it over without too much trouble. I don't believe it should pose much of a problem. The buyer was one Celis Wilder. Well, I mean, close enough. It was his, it was his sister. Celis? You mean that idiot Chosen sister? The Chosen Zelos's sister. Indeed. We should head to Zelos's mansion. Does that sound good to you two? Of course. I'm not exactly enthusiastic, but it's not like we have a choice. I'm not too eager myself, but let's go. We go join the party. Formation has changed. Do what you gotta do, you know. That's all there is to it. But we are gonna, you know, we're just gonna hang around in some darkness and all that good stuff. You know, I was just thinking too. Skits are a very good indicator of how much we have left in the game, really. It kind of is. And the monster completion, I, I'm going to assume that's monsters I've recruited? I have no idea, honestly. Imagine having an average battle time of over an hour. Oh my gosh, that would be something. But no, for real though. I think this is a good barometer of where we are in this playthrough. Because we all know we're not getting 100% of the skits. And we're certainly not going to be... I don't think we're going to be at a super low percentage of skits either. You have to imagine somewhere between probably like 75 and 90% is when we're going to be done with the game. I would have to guess. So... At least knowing what I know about this game anyway. So... Really, where'd the skit go? Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, we're already at 47. Probably about to make it 48 with this skit. So, you know... Xehanort loves darkness. Darkness. How was the Temple of Darkness? It was really dark. Yeah. It is, after all, the resting place of my altar. One should expect some <coughs> darkness. That's right. You're a dark elemental. Darkness is quite pleasant. It wraps the world in a warm black blanket. It would seem, though, that my altar was converted into a temple of some sort during my sleep. I think it was Crucius that built the temple. Freaking Crucius! Crucius is that institution in the heavens where Goddess Martell lives, right? Yes, I suppose that describes it well enough. If only you knew the half the of it. Of Martell's followers turned the Centurion's altars into temples. Indeed. It's rather rude to remodel someone's home without asking permission. They've ruined the bleakness of my magnificent lair. What's the big deal? It's still plenty dark. The quality of the darkness is as different as night and day. Can you truly not appreciate that fact? I guess some differences are too subtle for we humans to perceive. But... The Centurions rest here, but so did the Summon Spirits. So this was this not... Like a joint venture between the Summon Spirits and the Centurions or something? Like, Crucius just decided to be like, Yeah, you know what, we build a temple here because why not? I'm like, what? Really? Mythos, what, what were you doing, man? What were you doing 4,000 years ago? How long ago was, were these temples built? Maybe Celeste Wilder knows. Um, so who is Celeste? Celis is the half-sister of Zelos, the Chosen. She has a frail constitution. Without the aid of an X-Sphere, even everyday activities are difficult for her. X-Spheres? Those stones with mysterious powers, right? And they were made by the Designs. Yes. They allow people to amp their abilities to their full potential. Both of us have one. The King has issued an order demanding the surrender of all X-Spheres. So we'll have to return these as well someday. At any rate, Celis didn't waste any time in giving her X-Sphere back. And that's why Zelos has been so worried about her. When Celis is involved, the Chosen has a tendency to lose his composure. Anyone so much as touches the hair on her head and he'd hunt them down to the gates of hell itself. Wow, that's so dashing. I wish I had an older brother like that. Do you? <coughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, Zelos is very loving and protective of his sister but at the same time there is a there is such a thing as being too overly protective so i mean i don't know maybe a happy medium wouldn't be too bad but either way Zelos is a good brother obviously even if he does be even if he is a little overbearing with it at times uh yeah let's go to uh, actually you know what i'm gonna save 
I'm gonna save because yes, and then we're gonna do, I don't know what we're gonna do. Or maybe I do know. Maybe I know exactly what's gonna happen. It's going to Mel Tokyo, obviously. What do you think I was gonna say? Thought I was gonna say something else, didn't ya? Oh, man. Well, now everyone, now that we are in Mel Tokyo, it's time on the next exciting episode <laughs> to... We're gonna go to Zelos' mansion and go check up on Celeste Wilder and see what, what the heck she's doing and why did she buy Glockius' core and what, what, what is she doing? I don't know, man. Will we see Zelos? That's for us to find out. But I'll see you later, everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. You've reached the end of this video. But before we go for the day, I just want to give a quick shout out to all the tier four and above channel members. Phoenix Edgeworth, Akira Next 2, and Jello Cat. Thank you all for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would like to get a shout out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all tier four, five, and six channel members. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you later. Bye.